Hello friends how are you all? I hope you are always in good health and given happiness all day long. This film tells the story of a mercenary nicknamed Ghost, Taksakaguchi, who works under the leadership of a general named Phantom. One time Ghost got an assignment to finish off a family. When he has to kill a little boy named Sachi, Ghost is unwilling to do so, and chooses to run away. As a consequence of his actions. The story will focus on a mercenary nicknamed a ghost, a man who was born with tactical abilities above the average human. Highly trained has strong instincts to move quickly can dodge bullets from a distance of 1 cm, and expert in killing using sharp weapons. What's interesting is that Ghost is the type of person who doesn't like to buy time in fighting like most movies in general. Ghost always target vital parts of the target to quickly die. It is not told how the detailed chronology is but the Ghost has left the organization that houses the mercenaries. After he realized that the organization was actually conducting brainwashing experiments on young children, until Ghost is desperate to bring one of the small children to be saved. Due to the leadership of the organization thinking that the ghost has betrayed and must be killed for the organization, and now a Toshiro aka ghost who now lives in the countryside with a girl named Sachi, where he set up a shop while working as a guard at that place. Even though Toshiro looks happy with his new life now, his mind is constantly haunted by his past. Finally decided to go to a psychiatrist who even though it didn't help relieve his anxiety. When he is at the beach he remembers the past when he just met the very young Sachi, where Toshiro cuts his own body until it bleeds and says that pain is unavoidable but can be controlled. One day when Toshiro was on guard there were two petty robbers who threatened him with a knife, which certainly didn't make Toshiro threatened at all, maybe he thought it was just a toy, but even the humble Toshiro gave them some money so they could leave quickly. Long story short, Toshiro and Sachi visited a friend who had helped them get out of the organization named Ken. After visiting them they went home. On the way home, Toshiro's killing instinct suddenly gave a notification that there was danger around the two of them. Then he told Sachi to wait while she would check the surroundings. And here comes the cool part that will show how amazing Toshiro's natural skills are. He is able to recognize enemies very quickly and incapacitate them so easily in the middle of pedestrian traffic. Meanwhile, we will see another assassin sent by Pantham, namely a woman in a miniskirt with smooth legs. Here the woman immediately shows her skill by killing two bad people right in the elevator which is quite narrow. Realizing that he had sent the wrong sheep to kill the phantom wolf, he took the initiative to summon someone who had the ability equivalent to a ghost. Someone with the nickname Abyss Walker who was a duet friend when the ghost was still a mercenary first. Back to Toshiro who went back to the psychiatrist to deal with his growing anxiety, where the psychiatrist makes a therapy simulation by pointing his hand like a gun at Toshiro's head, which actually surprised the psychiatrist where Toshiro was suddenly beside him to avoid the simulation shot. Long story short, night fell when he asked for food at the cafe, Toshiro's instincts again caught the danger signal around him. So he left Sachi with the cafe keeper while he went out and tried to confront the killers. After slaughtering the assassins outside Toshiro went to his shop to pick up some devices that could be used as weapons. Not long after that suddenly another killer came disguised as a medic, where Toshiro used a screwdriver as a weapon and managed to slaughter them all without any difficulty. Not long after, two of Ken's subordinates came to help, there was Udin and Agile, it was on orders from Ken himself who actually without the two of them Toshiro would have been able to solve this problem. Toshiro went to a payphone to tell Sachi to stay waiting at the cafe, which at the same time came the mini skirt with sexy long legs, who suddenly entered into a payphone box until a fight broke out in a tight space. Here Toshiro still has the opportunity to talk to Sachi when he slits the mini eye skirt's throat with his knife. That Pantham will not let go and will continue to chase him until finally Taoshiro finally makes a plan to kill Pantham. So this all ended where Toshiro purposely let Sachi be kidnapped so he could find out where Pantham was hiding. Through the tracking device that was pasted on Sachi's body earlier, Toshiro, accompanied by Udin and Agile Toshiro, plans to directly attack the door's headquarters through the forest path. 
where there are 200 combat ready tactical troops that will hinder them except for Toshiro. Without wasting any time the three of them immediately disabled the guards one by one in that place, where Wenu Dean and Agile took over to knock out one guard, Toshiro only needed to be alone to knock out 150 soldiers at once. The nickname the ghost branded on Toshiro is not a figment because when several soldiers prepare to attack Toshiro looks quite relaxed. Toshiro, who really likes aiming for the neck, made these troops instantly die without being able to touch Toshiro. When Toshiro attacked the enemy with a hand-to-hand -hand method, Udin and Agile were seen doing a beautiful duet when shooting several enemies. Here Taoshiro also took out something from his feet, namely a shovel which finally made since his kick was able to make the enemy immediately fall. Where Toshiro again attacks the enemy using the shovel so that it makes a tree collapse. Udin and Agile decided to separate themselves after the bullets ran out and they had no other choice but to use sharp weapons. Here, Udin has to face Phantom's assistance, which is known to have a high enough killing intent. But here Udin had to die at the hands of the Phantom assistant. However he at least died with a sacrifice that was not in vain. Back to Shiro who faced the sniper, he annoyed the sniper because he easily dodged his shot. Back to Shiro who faced the sniper, he annoyed the sniper because he easily dodged his shot. After winning against two snipers, Toshiro met Panthem's assistant who had killed Udin. Toshiro knew that he was still a child. Toshiro decided not to kill him and just passed out. It's not enough with Taoshiro's return to show a magnificent sight as he takes out a modern scythe. Then he slaughtered again the enemies that came with his modern scythe. and was amazed when not a single enemy fire was able to hit Toshiro and they were the ones who had to die with their own bullets. More and more enemies came Toshiro decided to rest for a while then remembered the karambit given by Ken, and finally he used the old weapon that was often used when he was a mercenary. And here he too he slaughtered all enemies until nothing was left. In the end Toshiro arrived at the headquarters and managed to find Sachi and then ordered Agile to take care of Sachi, while he finishes it all. And this is where the final fight takes place, namely the appearance of the Abysswalker figure who used to be his duet friend when he was a mercenary. It is conceivable that the abilities of the two of them may be balanced but with different motivations Toshiro is optimistic. With the same moves and moves, that is, the two of them fight with a sense of sportsmanship, and for the first time Toshiro was hit by a punch that made him dizzy plus the flashing light used by the Abai Walker. Toshiro who was overwhelmed finally closed his eyes and used his instincts. Finished with the Abyss Walker. Now is the time for Toshiro to face Panthem. Even though he is old but don't get me wrong he has the ability to hypnotize someone so that every word that comes out makes Toshiro silent. Fortunately, Toshiro can overcome Phantom Hypnosis and can injure Panthem's neck to death. However, Toshiro himself was hit by Phantom's knife. Everything is as usual. Karma will always come because Toshiro likes to kill with a neck so he himself died with a wound on his neck. Apart from a simple story as it only tells about a former mercenary who saves a little girl, overall we are shown a very epic action scene from a ghost figure aka Toshiro who is so cool. <laughs>